Hello, this is Torior and welcome to my Big Blue Blob achievement run in EU4 Common Sense, as France, obviously. Right, let's just get into it. I... Mm, big... Blue... Blob. Now, I am feeling a bit cocky today, so in spite of just doing the difficult achievement, I will try and speedrun this in one afternoon, just to make things a little bit more interesting and impose a... A limit of not overthinking things on myself. And this is also supposed to double as a guide, so yeah, first moves. What do we do? You need to check your enemies. Who hates you? England, Burgundy, Provence and Castile. This is manageable. Let's see who hates England, because this is our first mm, target. France, Burgundy and Aragon. Which means Aragon is probably a prospective ally. Now, I could keep restarting until we get everybody friendly, but uh, that's not the way you play the game, right? So, Aragon is our prospective ally. They hate England, Castile and the Pope. Now, Austria. Austria is also a prospective ally. They are friendly towards us. They hate Burgundy, which is uh, also good. But, one important bit. In my strategy, we leave Burgundy alone. Possibly until, until late game or at all. We don't need those provinces. We can manage otherwise. Now, Poland. Who do you hate? Uh, Teutons, Ottomans and Hungary. Denmark? Denmark... Oh, Denmark hates Burgundy as well. That could... Um, could get some interesting wars going on here, which could trigger the Burgundian inheritance for us. Right, so, first order of business, alliances. We're going to ally Aragon and Austria. That is going to be fine. And... advisors. Diplo rep is good, but we only go for level 1, guys. We can't afford level 2. Uh, same here. Missionary strength is crap, but we need the admin power. And so <laughs> is fort defense, actually. Yeah. Well, we got the crappy advisors. And this is a very important bit. Switch your focus to admin immediately and maintain it until the end of the game. Or until you get the achievement, at least. Okay, missions. So if I... Mm, our papal relations, England must be driven from France and improve our prestige. I'll actually go for the papal mission, because uh, we can probably mm, complete it during the war with England and get more papal influence, and papal influence is useful for stability. Right, and uh, this bit of succession doesn't matter that much. Rivals. I will obviously set England as a rival. Also, also Provence. Why? Well, because um, if we attack, attack England, England and Burgundy hate each other, don't they? Yes. Burgundy is our other ally. Mm, other ally, our en other enemy. Also, England and Castile hate each other. But England and Provence do not hate each other, and they do hate me. So if we enter a war against England, it is possible that Provence will join. So if we have them rivaled, we can get uh, more power projection and prestige and stuff. Right, perfect. So, uh, before we unpause, I will also send our... Did I set them? Yes, I did. I will also send my armies to the positions to make them ready for invading France. Yeah, I'll explain in a bit why I'm doing it like that. We're separating them. Like this. Mm, yeah, you can go to Armagnac. And you can just stay here. Oops, I sent them too far. Uh, why am I doing like that? Well, um, one army will siege the fort, the small one will siege the non-fort, and the rest will stay as reinforcements. Also, we should assign our awesome generals, which we have two of. And why? And I will be sending the 7,000 army to siege the fort. Why? Because if they take a bit of attrition, the siege will continue, and otherwise it could uh, pause. Okay, I think we did all the things we need to do before we unpause the game. Let's start. Did you get the alliances? Yes, we did. Oh, one more thing. You need to set your special interest, right? So, um, yeah, Castile. I can't be bothered to set the automatic stuff. Um, now, Austria. Do we have your special interest? We probably do. Yeah, Bohemia is an important power. Uh, who else? Poland. Poland is an important power, so is Hungary and the Ottomans. And Lithuania, actually. Lithuania and Muscovy. Well, I can't really click on Lithuania um, from here. Yeah, Lithuania and Poland. 
Uh, do we have Aragon? Yes. Do we have Venice? Uh, no, we want Venice. And the Scandinavians. So, yeah, Denmark. And from Denmark, also Novgorod and Sweden and Norway. I think that's everything. Um, I wonder, do we have Scotland set? We are supporting the... not supporting, we are guaranteeing them. Yeah, I could break this um, this relationship, it's not needed, really. Okay, let's pause, wait until a diplomat comes back, see if England got any alliances, which is important. Only Portugal, which can be managed rather easily. When we're the size of France, of course. If you're a poor native somewhere in the Americas and they come and get you, they're not so easy to manage. Uh, so they are only allied with Portugal, so we can basically declare war on them right now. Can we get anybody else to fight them? Mm, I think we have all the rivals. We could possibly ally Brittany. We could possibly ally Brittany, because if Provence joins, they could join too. Uh, Brittany is a potential target, but... Uh, yeah, it is a potential target, and so is Savoy. But we could use them. Temporarily. I think if Provence joins, Brittany will join on our side. Also, Navarra. I do want to offer an alliance to Navarra, because it would be nice to diplomatize them. It is not crucial, but it can be useful. So let's offer an alliance to Navarra. We don't want them in this war. They're very weak, but we do want to have an alliance with them. Now, we could do the same with Provence. Um, we're at 4 out of 4 diplomatic relations. Um, did you get any new allies? You did not. Uh, did I say Provence? I meant Brittany. Yeah, I will also ally Brittany. And they won't accept diplomatic vassalization, probably. And we might break that alliance in a little bit. Okay, we are at 5 out of 4 diplomatic relations, right? Yes, but don't worry about it. Right, um, wait a few days. Perfect. Now, um, do you have new allies? You do not. Time to declare war. Aragon will join. Notice that Brittany will not. But, oh, they're threatened, of course, they want to join the war. Why did I ally them? Well, but if Provence joins, they should be willing to join because of the rivalry. I'm not sure. If it's if they don't, it's, it's fine. We're going to choose Gascon because it doesn't have a fort. So we will siege it faster, thus maintain, mm, gaining the war score from it faster. Portugal, do you have any allies? England and Castile. Hmm. I could call them in as co-belligerent, I suppose. No, Castile would defend them. Because Castile hates us. Okay. Um, so, declare war on England. Not co-belligerent, calling in Aragon on our side. And take Gascon. Here we go. And this should work out well. We have superiority, because uh, Aragon is relatively strong. They also have Naples. And uh, Right, so you will siege the fort. You will siege the non-fort, and same here. I wonder if they will come siege us or attack Aragon and Naples. If they if they do attack us, we have reinforcements ready. Now it was supposed to be speedrun, right? So let's go up to speed three. Not too much explaining. And since we have declared war on England, we no longer need to guarantee Scotland. We could ally them, I suppose, but um, they would probably join in the war against England. Or maybe not, I don't know. Still, we don't need the relationship anymore. So it was uh, influence, revoke guarantee. It's eating a slot, and we don't need it to be eating a slot. Now, continuing. Uh, the fleet. The fleet stays in port, but we need to build it up a little bit. You will see why later. And two more ships everywhere. Yeah, six transport ships. We'll be going over the force limit, but don't worry about that. And we will decrease the fleet maintenance. Uh, forts stay on for now. I will be dropping forts later on. Okay, and pausing. We have a free... Oh, Provence, Ally, England. Yes, this is what I expected. They're actually going to join the war now, probably. And I have a free diplomat, so I will send him to the Pope um, to fulfill our mission, which will give us more papal influence. Um, improving relations at su as such also gives us more papal influence. We can always send him a gift or something. Uh, yeah, and Papal Influence can buy us stability. Let's go on. Mm. Yeah, Provence did not join yet. When they do, because they, they probably will, we need to make sure to remember and... Mm, yes, they did join. 
Provence and Lorraine, they're subject to join the war. Now, Brittany, would you like to join because you hate Provence? Uh, no, you wouldn't. Okay, so this alliance is basically pointless. Hmm. I might break it. I might break it later. Uh, it, it's not a problem. Still, we can easily take Provence. Should we start right away? I suppose we could. Why not? Let's start by sieging Anjou. Or Maine. Yeah, let's start by sieging Anjou. They are building something there, and you will still be able to serve as reinforcements if any anyone comes. If they come from Picardy, we can't see Calais. If they come from Calais through Picardy, then we'll have to just uh, retreat or possibly disband this army not, mm, to not get negative war score from that. Yeah, but Aragon will probably take care of Provence for us. And he just focus on taking the fort. Mm, as soon as this siege is done, we will move them to Maine. We might actually take something from Provence in this war. They are our rivals, so we could even go for humiliation. England entered the military alliance with the Connacht, which we don't care about. You can call them in if you want. Trade dispute against Burgundy, yeah, sure. Are you sure you don't want to join? Either of you, no? That's fine. Uh, let's start improving relations with um, Navarra, because we do intend to quickly diplomatize them. And everybody is trying to do it. Aragon, Castile, and us. It's just one province, but uh, it can make all the difference sometimes. And we have sieged Anjou because they did not have uh, support. They were not reinforcing the forts. Sending reinfor... whatever you call it. Burgundy, you're fighting somebody? No, you just have military access through Bar. France occupied cow. Mm, yeah, fine. Okay, now we can retreat you guys. Actually, I will move you too, because we don't need that many guys here. And you will retreat to the reinforcements too. I could attack Provence now, but if England lands a fleet in an army here, I want to be prepared. I don't want to lose battles that I don't need to lose. Yeah, the Ottomans are attacking Kara. Sure. Okay, where are they going? Our super awesome leader is over here. If a battle commences, I would like him with um, with the fighting, so I will move him over here. Substituting him with another regiment. Navarra and Austria want royal marriages. Sure, of course I accept. And they're, they're going to try and siege this. It will take them a while, and before they do, we will probably be able to maybe finish the siege. No. Well, we will be able to mount a counter-offensive, anyway. Maybe even Castile will help. Oh, Aragon, sorry. Yeah. Mm, Aragon, would you like to attach to me? Would you? Would you not? No? I suppose it's fine. Okay, let's merge those guys. And they are defending, they have a better general. They should be fine, but just in case... I will send them reinforcements. I will send them reinforcements from here. And I do not want to lose the siege progress. I will... Mm, is there any siege progress anyway? No. But I don't want to let them build any troops in this province. So I will send almost everybody and immediately mm, send them back afterwards. Right, um, are we at P3? Yes, we are. Venice declared one. Ragusa, fine. Oh, Friesland is now a free city. Okay, this was a relatively easy battle. I mean, I'm saying wars, but yeah, it's almost one. Right. Now, we can actually chase them. They're probably going to their lands in Provence itself, but yeah, let's chase them. Oh, maybe they're going to Calais. Can we go to Calais? Hmm. It would be nice to... Oh, Burgundy is fighting England. Perfect. Can I go to Calais? Please, let me go to Calais. Burgundy, you hate me, you won't give me military access, but... Uh, really, I can't? Well, we're fine, we, we don't really need it, but it would be nice to have some more war score from that. Right, and we have a free army that can roam around and do stuff. Let's... can they? Alright, oh, they don't have enough morale. Uh, military access from Burgundy. Sure. Oh, maybe they will give me military access because I'm fighting their rival. 
Yes, they will. Fine. Let's recall the guy from the Pope and ask them for military access. Maybe we can uh, siege Calais before they do. Come on, come on. Ask for military access. Yes, they will accept. We will revoke it, of course. Uh, Sweden is fighting Denmark. Perfect. Actually, perfect. Uh, sorry, Sweden is fighting Denmark. Are you allied with anybody? No. Sweden is fighting just Denmark. No, and Holstein and Norway, yeah, the subjects. Sweden, Scotland and Lithuania. That is... I'm not sure if Poland will be able to form the personal union if Lithuania is fighting. We'll see. I would like to be friendly with Poland that has Lithuania, but it is not crucial to our plans. Right, continuing. Where's the army? Mm, it's going to Calais, but Calais is full of Burgundian troops. I'll actually s I will actually leave a unit there, just in case they break the siege for a little while, so we can assume control. It would be nice, but we don't really need it. It would be nice because we would get more war score quicker. <coughs> Sorry about that. And, yeah, you want military access? Sure, you can have it. The enemy of my enemy is uh, possibly not so bad. Right. Seems like England is busy. Uh, sieging Aragon. So we can probably retreat those reinforcements and take care of Provence, finally. Right. And... Aragon has... Uh, Portugal siege. Yeah, we will take care of Portugal, of course, but uh, in a little bit. What's the fourth level here? Ooh, it needs nine troops. That's a pity. Okay, we'll do it like that. Just in case you need reinforcements there. You probably won't, because you're an awesome general, but there is a... Yeah, never mind that. And we'll send him to help. Provinces are rivals, so the more we beat them up, the better. Yeah, they do have five provinces. We could take something from them, I suppose. That would give us park projection. We could also humiliate them. Mm, we would get more monarch points, which is very nice, especially the admin ones. Uh, is Burgundy the leader still? Yes. France occupied... was that the Draguignon, I think? Yeah. Okay, I'll send them uh, home, because we don't really need them suffering attrition for no reason. Um, okay, up to speed four. Yeah, just make sure no English armies or such come until we finish any sieges. Uh, no, Speed 4 wasn't a good idea, because I have a diplomat that is not doing anything at the moment. And he should be improving relations with the Pope. Yeah, improve relations with the Pope. No, and pause on Speed 3. Uh, England is massing troops here. They might be preparing for... Mm, a naval assault, sorry, uh, yeah, you know what I mean, for just uh, moving their troops into the mainland. We will see relatively soon. How's the, how are the sieges going? Uh, 11, 5, and 1. And Calais? 2 for Burgundy. Well, maybe England will land somewhere here, they will need to retract their armies, then we would assume control. Mm, but it's it's not necessary. And I see Aragon and Naples are sieging those ones for us. Which is good. We will be able to separate peace Provence. And we do want that. A little bit. Mm, now, Portugal. I could have sent... Oh, you're fighting Milan? Oh, right. Burgundy, of course. Yeah, we'll need to send some troops over there once we're done here. We want to make this war quick, but uh, if we can... Uh, take war reparations and one province from Portugal, why not? The war reparations are actually worth quite a lot, they're very, very wealthy. But Navarra, let's think about Navarra. We have an alliance, do we have a royal marriage? We do. So how much more how much more can we get apart from improving relations? We can send them a gift for 25, we can guarantee them mm, and offer them military access for further 20 together, so that's uh, 45 and ask them to transfer trade power to us, which is usually around 10 or more. So let's assume it's 55, and we need 190 for them to accept vassalization. And did I say 55? I think I said 55. 
so that's 135 that we need to reach. Okay, I will actually start offering them those things in a few months with the diplomat from the Pope so we can have them as a vassal quicker. Okay, continuing. Actually, after the month takes, I will record the diplomat from the Pope and start, start sending them the other things. Uh, Burgundy is coming our way. But we are not budging from this spot, so this siege is ours, but uh, yeah, you're welcome to join in if you have any cannons, but it's too early for cannons. Siege of Labourde is over. I suppose I could go for Portugal now. But uh, this is not enough troops to go for Portugal. We could scout, I suppose. We could scout a little bit. Because uh, Castile gives military access to Portugal, which means in turn we as their enemy also get military access. Right, you know what? This is actually enough for the first episode. Uh, I intend to record all of this in one sitting. Mm, but uh, the episodes will, of course, not all come in at once. I might even send two or three a day. We'll see. Okay, thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode very soon. Goodbye.